casual, conversational, consultative, and frozen. Before the lesson, let us have some warm-up questions. The first question is, do you use styles in your daily communication? Timer starts now. Different situation and people call for different communicative styles. The way you communicate has a big impact on how you get on with people and get the things you want. If you have good communication skills, you will be able to solve problems and avoid conflicts. It is also important in making friends and having healthy relationships. Here are the five communicative styles. The frozen style. It is the most formal communicative style that is usually used during respectful events and ceremonies. Frozen speech is used generally in a very formal setting which does not require any feedback from the audience. Frozen style usually uses long sentences with good grammar. Some frozen styles are prayer, speech state ceremonies, marriage ceremonies, pledges, anthems, etc. To make it clearer, I have here another example of frozen style. In a very formal setting like church, someone might say, Jesus, our Almighty Savior, the Omnipotent God, the Alpha and Omega, he can do all things with His grace and power. He can move the mountains and He is mighty to save us all. Next is the formal style. It is a communicative style used in official setting or interview. In a formal style, speaker must prepare whole sentences ahead before they are delivered. And you avoid using slang terminologies. In which situation do we use formal style? We use formal style in meeting, speeches, school lessons, court, corporate meeting, swearing in ceremonies, interview, etc. Here is another example of formal style. The man interviews the woman. He asks her to tell something about herself. Since it is an interview, she definitely prepared for it. The third one is the casual style. It is a communicative style which we use when we are having conversation with friends and we use idiomatic expression and slang very often. This is very relaxed and focused on just getting the information out. Here is an example of casual style in which the two ladies are having a conversation with Part. So, a casual style may be used in informal situation and it uses informal languages. So, the relationship between the speaker and the hearer is closed. Next is the consultative style. It is a communicative style used in a conversation between strangers. It is also used in a conversation with colleagues, peers, we use consultative style when we are asking queries or seeking advices. Examples of consultative styles are regular conversation at schools, teacher-students conversation, doctor-patient conversation. It is used in semi-formal communication and happens in two-way participation. The speaker does not plan what he wants to say. Sentences tend to be shorter and spontaneous.
combined is the intimate style. It is a communicative style used in a private conversation between two persons who know each other extremely well. In the intimate style, complete private language is used within a family or very close friends or group. It uses personal language codes and grammar is unnecessary. It does not need complete language and it uses certain terms of endearment, slangs, or expression. I will show you another example of intimate style. Here is a conversation between a mother and a son in which the son is greeting his mother a happy Mother's Day and they use terms of endearment in the dialogue. We do not usually use terms of endearment when we are having a conversation with other people. We only use them when we are talking to our close friends or family members. Now, let us have a recap. First question is, what is a communicative style? A communicative style is the level of formality with which you speak. Different people or situation call for different communicative styles. The next question is, what are the five communicative styles? The first one is the process style. Examples are prayers, pledges, and speeches. Second, the formal style. The formal style is used when we are having a conversation in an official setting or interview. Third, the casual style. We use this style when we are having a conversation among friends. Third is the consultative style. We use consultative style when we are having a conversation with strangers. It is used in asking questions or seeking advices. Next is the intimate style. We use intimate style when we are having a conversation privately with our family members. Just provide your brief explanation to answer the following questions. 